Welcome to our daily Forex market analysis, and this is for trading on October the 28th, 2020. Just a quick disclaimer here before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business, so please be careful with your money. As usual, we'll start off by taking a look at our calendar here today. Um, in terms of news that's coming up here in just a bit, we have the CPI numbers out of Australia. And tomorrow we have a lot of central banks here, or at least two central banks, and then we have Bank of, um, I think ECB the following day. So tomorrow, Bank of Canada, first of all. So Bank of Canada, um, not expected to change anything at this point. The uh, question here will be, what, uh, what are they expecting in terms of the economy? So we have seen uh, multiple, uh, multiple countries uh, sort of looking at lockdown, the virus numbers going up across the board uh, for everyone. Uh, so the main focus will be on the comments from Bank of Canada to see what their expectations are for the Canadian economy. So um, anything um, negative there is likely to have a negative impact. So that will be the biggest thing. The positive may not have that much of an impact, but the negative uh, can sure trigger a sell-off. So we'll have to watch out for that. Um, and then we have um, Japan here. Uh, Japanese um, yen, so again, for Bank of Japan, same thing right now. I think the focus will be on um, on the virus cases uh, increasing and what the central banks are thinking. Or if they talk about providing more stimulus, that will be negative for the currency, positive for the stock market. Um, but overall, that's what we'll have to focus on. Any sort of uh, uh, fear uh, or concern is likely to be uh, to have a negative impact. Um, another thing, just from overall perspective here. Uh, today we heard from, um, um, we saw that the stimulus package essentially is, it's kind of done deal, nothing's going to happen there uh, till after the elections, which we had discussed earlier, but today uh, they all went home. So uh, we are essentially, that's done. No more um, back and forth here. So after, and President Trump tweeted as well that, um, after the elections are done, um, there will be a big package. So that's that. So just keep that in mind. This is why we have also seen a negative impact as a result of that. Okay, let's go on to the charts now and we'll take a look at what's going on. Euro dollar here. Um, we were looking for a drop yesterday. So we pulled right back into where we were looking at. And then we have a pin bar today. So looking for a drop here. In terms of the target, um, it's already at the first target. So looking for price to go into 1.1720 and then potentially into 1.1685. Um, so bearish bias here for Euro dollar. Pound dollar here, pound's gone back and forth here. Now just keep in mind, it is into this resistance here. So even though we had a bullish candle close, it's not quite bullish yet. So if it holds below today's high, I would be looking for another move to the downside here. So right now, uh, bias for pound is neutral. So uh, pound is basically getting impacted by the whole Brexit stuff. Um, any sort of uh, positive comments in regards to Brexit are positive uh, for, the, uh, for the pound. So this is why we have seen this go up, but uh, it is into resistance. And as long as it holds below this resistance, which is 1.3070, I am looking for a drop here. So a neutral bias here and target would be 1.2930. Aussie dollar here, Aussie dollar did go and, <coughs> excuse me, retest the resistance here, but it's held below. So bias is bearish here, looking for price to drop back into the support area here, uh, 0 0.7020. <coughs> excuse me, if it goes through 0 0.6915, so bearish bias here for Aussie dollar. New Zealand dollar here, this one uh, did go up. However, it is right into, still right into this resistance level here. It hasn't managed to hold above. Uh, we do have a bullish candle close, but um, 
I'm not super bullish on this one yet. So if it doesn't go through, we could still see this drop. Um, so watch out. Now, only time it will get bullish, though, will be if it crosses over. Now, if we see, let's say, on a one hour, four hour chart, it crosses through and holds above, then it's likely to go higher. Uh, so for now, though, bias is neutral for New Zealand dollar. Dollar CAD here, this one has gone in both directions, back and forth. It dropped and um, we have a pin in the bottom, but there's still bearishness in this candle. So essentially what I'm looking for is if it holds above here, looking for it to go up into 1.3250 here. Uh, so bias is neutral for dollar cat at the point at this point. Now uh, we do have Bank of Canada statement coming up tomorrow. And um, if we see that Bank of Canada is concerned, that could cause Canadian dollar to uh, to drop and then dollar CAD could go in the opposite direction as well. So for now, neutral, it's still sideways at the moment. And I will look for a move towards 1.3250. Silver here, uh, silver is looking neutral to bearish here. We see that price is still holding in this range. And so this is what we have today. So as long as it holds below here, looking for a drop back towards the support, 23.50 is the target. So overall, this is still sideways here. So neutral to bearish bias for silver. Gold here, gold again, still sideways. Doesn't have a strong trend in place at the moment. It's been stuck in this range uh, right now and it didn't go through this resistance here. So we may see a drop. 1873 again is the target. Overall, this is still neutral trading within this range. Oil here, oil went up, but it held. So looking for a further drop towards 36.80. So bearish bias for oil here. It's been holding below the support resistance level. And as long as it holds below here, this is uh, bearish here. So bearish bias for 36.80 is the target. Copper here, copper also looking bearish. We did see that pullback, but um, looking for a further drop here, this uh, level got rejected. Next target is 3.01 and 2.98 back into the support here. Bitcoin here, Bitcoin, Bitcoin uh, broke through the resistance and if we zoom out a bit, we are right into that resistance. So this is where uh, price has not gone through this. Uh, this was in 2019, April, that it went here. And if you take a look at it, then we have a lot of room to the upside, but this is a major resistance here. Uh, so do be careful. Now there are some positive things uh, that the Bitcoin has going for it. The problem will be it's right into that major resistance. If it doesn't get through, we're likely to see a drop here. So bullish to neutral bias here for Bitcoin and target is 13,800. S&P 500 here, this one's looking bearish. Price went uh, to retest the resistance here and it held below. So now looking for a follow through here. Uh, 3340 is the first target and then we're looking at 3290 um, as the second target. So bearish bias here for S&P 500. NASDAQ as well, there was a bit of a pullback here but it's still holding. So looking for a drop towards 11,365. So neutral to bearish bias here for NASDAQ. Dow Jones here, nice drop. Uh, right into this support level, uh, which was our target. So looking for a further drop. So bearish bias for today as well. Now, the only thing to be careful about here would be the support level. This is an important support level. We do have a solid bearish candle close, but we do need to see this drop through the support level here. Uh, so target here will be uh, 36,725. So bearish bias here for Dow Jones. 
DAX here, nice drop right into our target here. And next target here is back into this area, which is 11,760 level here. So bearish bias for this as well. We may get a pullback right into this 12,080 level and then looking for a drop from there. So DAX is looking bearish at this moment. FTSE here, FTSE also looking bearish. It closed right into the support level here. So we do need to see a continuation here below this, but looking bearish, next target is 5660. And then we're looking at 55.80. So bearish bias here in terms of the pullback, we may get a pullback back into this 57.50 area, but overall still looking bearish here. And this is what I'm expecting. So bearish bias for FTSE as well. And then we have Nikkei here. Nikkei did drop, it pulled back. So it's, um, it's trying to break out of this very narrow range that it's been trading in over the last little bit here. Uh, now, again, we need to see this type of a move here. So <clears throat> bearish bias here. And first target is into the support level at 23,200. And then we are looking at 23,000 here. So bearish bias for FTSE as well. Oh, sorry, my apologies, Nikkei as well. So that's it. You guys have a wonderful trading day and I'll be back again tomorrow. Bye for now. Great. Thanks. Bye-bye.